Hello, we are with Dr. Tim Leverton of Tata Motors. Tim, thank you very much for talking to AutoCar Professional. Uh, the Hexa is finally here. Uh, at one end, you have the Tiago. On the other hand, you have the Hexa. Uh, how would you describe this from an engineering perspective in terms of you know, the what are the three key uh, responsibilities of this project that it has to deliver? You? Well, I think, first of all, it's a, a very much our flagship project now, our flagship product. And so there are three things which we were very concerned about. One is the uh, design and, and uh, build quality, exterior and interior, the luxury premium feel uh, of the interior particularly. Second thing has been in the ease of driving and the comfort, the ride quality, the ease of uh, control with the dynamics. We have dynamic electronic systems, control systems in uh, multiple drive modes to be able to make it as easy as possible to drive the car in all conditions. And the third thing is the refinement, the noise level in the car, uh, to come to really a low level of uh, noise so that it's very comfortable over long distance and so forth. And uh, uh, as we speak, uh, I mean, uh, this also enters not a crowded segment, but a segment which is really dominated by one key player. Uh, so there, that makes the tough uh, uh, job even more challenging. How? How confident are you about that? Well, I think, we, that established I think we have a very uh, capable vehicle. Um, we have a vehicle which is a, a tough vehicle. It's uh, obviously it's a, a, on a frame, it therefore is very rugged. It can tackle all sorts of terrain. We've equipped it with a rough road, uh, road uh, mode, which has got optimized uh, stability control and traction systems for loose uh, surfaces. We've given it excellent performance, 400 Newton meters. Uh, of torque, which is really at the top of the, uh, the segment, a new segment setting uh, uh, level. That makes it very drivable, there's a good low end torque. And I think in terms of the design and finish, we've been able to distinguish ourselves from the competition in terms of the quality of materials yes. and the fit and finish we've been able to deliver in the car. So you're confident that the, the Hexa can take on the Innova Crystal? Well, that's what we've got to do, and that's you know we, we're very, we're very proud of it, and we feel it can do that. And it de de derives the platform; it's a derivative of, of the uh, Aria, the X2 platform. So, how how what are the modifications that you've done uh, as compared to the uh, Aria? Well, it has come from the X2 mm. uh, architecture, mm. but we've made many many uh, detailed improvements to it. If I just take the frame for example, mm. we've made the frame lighter, we've made it stiffer. We're using hydroform uh, sections and, uh, and higher strength steels. Yeah. The joinery of the frame has been improved. Yes. And this was a part of our quest to get better ride control. We've gone to new technology dampers, multi-valve dampers, which give us much better uh, primary ride, body control, yeah. but also combine that with excellent low speed ride characteristics, low speed, uh, low frequency transient uh, responses in the dampers. And um, it's matched very well, I think, to the, uh, the drive line and the calibrations that we've created. So electronics wise, we're supporting a whole range of control systems from ABS to stability, anti-skid control, rollover mitigation, uh, hill ascent, hill descent, and all of these things have to be integrated in the electronic system. So many, many detail changes and improvements to, to get to the hexa that you see in front of us. So this takes that journey of Tata Motors and the, uh, uh, and the evolution of, and the, and the, uh, of the company you know, forward. Uh, so where where do you think if you know, reached into where do where do you think you have reached in terms of the uh, transformation journey uh, from an engineering perspective? Well, I think we are well on our our way. I mean, over the last uh, two years, mm. when this is now the fourth product that we're launching in quite a short period of time, we've got two more to come in the next months, uh, and then afterwards we've got an ongoing uh, pipeline. I think we're starting to see reception from the customers, but certainly if we look at Tiago, mm. that show that we're hitting the spot in terms of the character of the cars, the design, um, the desirability of the styling, yes. as well as the dynamics and usability of the cars. Build quality is good and I think this is the foundation upon which we're building. We've got to carry on, we've got to continue to improve year by year, but we, we're well on when I think we're, we're uh, starting to prove ourselves uh, fully capable of meeting that goal. And in terms of, if you look at the uh, the changes which are taking place in the global automotive industry, uh, things are moving at quite a rapid pace, mm. uh, maybe faster than one expected. So, say uh, uh, a kind of a trend like uh, autonomous driving, for example, electrification, mm. yeah. uh, connectivity, three key trends. Uh, how does it figure in in your scheme of things? Uh, are, are you looking at, for example, autonomous driving tech? in your roadmap? We are, I think uh, we are running autonomous uh, driving prototypes. So in fact, I've got two running uh, this year. 
um, in UK, and I've, we've got also one running in uh, Pune. So we're working on those technologies, but in all honesty, um, these technologies are more interesting for us in the short term in terms of the sensor technologies, the system technologies, which allow us Camera to give yeah, like allow mm. us to give uh, direct assistance to the driver. These are more affordable mm. um, implementations, but they give a very relevant safety and ease of uh, security of driving uh, to the customers here in India. In a way, Hexa is well onto that path with the sort of uh, stability systems, dynamics control systems that we have. These are also assist systems. And uh, we see that extending year by year. Um, when will we have driverless cars in India? I don't think for quite a few years. Mm. But, uh, but we will have more and more uh, assistance at low speeds, yep. parking, for example, yes. vision uh, assist, for example, for low level light or light, yep. night vision, and relevant tra traffic warnings like crossing alert and other things, forward collision yep. warnings, which don't get in the way of the driving experience, mm. but really protect the customer. Or automatic braking, for example. Yeah, exactly. Somebody, these yeah. type of adaptive crews and yeah. these types of things, which are all becoming uh, lower cost mm. and can be applied by us in a, a way which is interesting for our, our applications here in India. And these prototypes are Tata cars you are testing them on? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. So, okay. uh, so this is what we uh, see as part of our technology roadmap. Mm. Um, we have a, a, a portfolio of technology projects which uh, are the developments of the new systems that we need and they're timed for introduction into the market over the next years. And what about electrification? We, we are yet to see a hybrid, uh, for example, from Tata Motors because that is something which all OEMs are also going to be, given that India is also seeing a mm. kind of push from the government uh, policy. Yeah, so hybrid is part of our plan. Um, I think we've seen low voltage hybrids already in the market. 48 volt hybrid will be in the future interesting because of energy recovery and, and really city driving um, improvement both from boost and from, uh, from uh, fuel economy. Um, I think hybrid is really the next logical step in terms of uh, the next few years of uh, improving, reducing CO2 emissions, mm. improving uh, toxic emissions. So this is something which is built into our plans. Actually we're ahead probably in our commercial vehicle um, yes. areas. So we're running um, diesel hybrid and CNC hybrid uh, buses. We have our first orders uh, in the market for diesel hy series hybrid buses. Uh, and so this is advancing probably more quickly. Um, but uh, the government incentives are welcome and uh, these will help us to, to launch and to uh, expand the uh, availability of these technologies to our customers in future. Could you give us a glimpse of when can we expect a, a hybrid maybe in the passenger vehicle portfolio? Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give a specific date, but it's not long. It's not long. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Leverton. Always a pleasure talking to you, and uh, wish you all the best for the Hexa thank you. and uh, the and the projects that are coming thereafter. Thanks. You're very and welcome. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Do keep following us on social media and on our YouTube channel for all the latest automotive industry news. Thank you. Bye bye.